Double time, sir. Well, to go. It's been a long time since we sang that song. I thought like like we sounded good. I was not out there. Uh, okay, so we they don't hate it. This is good. <laughs> they don't really good for us. Okay, um, so can you not hear me in your ears? Oh, I, 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 I have you. Can you turn Carlos up for me just a tad, just a sliver? All right. So this special evening that we wanted to do. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna turn me up? You son of a gun. No, but we wanted to make it special and just maybe I don't know. Ask some, have you guys asked us some questions and just kind of be on the fly and just have nothing planned. So who's got a great question? We're judging you. This is the first one. I'll pick one, I'll pick one, I'll pick You know what? I'm gonna go with the dude first. Let's go, bro. What's up, man? Yes. One episode of Big Term Rush, our teacher was Chris Masters. Yes, yeah, I remember that. We can pick any wrestler to be our teacher Ooh, again. Man, Who would it be? John Cena. <laughs> you know him, that doesn't count. I mean, he might do it. He's a cool dude. I feel like I'm showing my age if I say Goldberg. Can we go really old school and say The Undertaker? Yeah. Okay. That's right, The Undertaker. I'll take it. This might be dumb, but there was a time in my life when I, was, I really loved The Rock. And I, I called myself The Pebble. <laughs> and hold on, true story, true story. I met him in a bathroom. Well, that's <laughs> clean. The Pebble. You can't end the story there. No, true story though, I was at the Nickelodeon Kids like Sports Awards show, and I'm in the bathroom, and I see Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and I'm like, oh my gosh. This is not the time to say hi, but, you know, this were is my standing, only opportunity. Were you standing at the urinals together? No, 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 well, actually... <laughs> you, no, go, no. you go, hey, I'm Pebble, and he goes, what? <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I was washing my hands, he walks in, I, I washed him for a long time, and when he came up to the, the sink, so I have this tattoo on my side. This right here. Yeah, baby. So oh, this is nice. it's cut. I kind of, I kind of got the inspiration from him. So I literally look at him and I was like, "Dude, I gotta show you my tattoo." <laughs> you know what? He didn't make fun of me. He said, "That's a very powerful tattoo." <laughs> and I said, "Thank you, sir." And he walked away. And oh, I was Mr. Rock. Experience with Rock. Thank you, Mr. Rock. Thank you, Mr. Rock. Yes, Mr. Rock. Yes, Mr. Rock. There we go. I like All right, it. good question. Can you do one more question? I'll take one. Yeah, pick one over on this side. Um, she has a supporter, so I'm gonna go with she has two hands technically going for her behind, behind, behind. Oh man, it better be good. Don't get shy now. Yes, the one that you were pointing at. Yes. We'll get to your question after. <laughs> Wait, now she's trying. Now she's trying. It's a shot, shot. shot to ask. We'll get you after. Okay. How do we come up with the name? Ask it through the tears. Did we come up with the name? Next question. Do you really want to know? Let's go through the history of the name. It, it might demystify it for you, though. We don't have to, though. Oh, let's do no, it. Why not? Okay. Well, whenever we first auditioned for this thing, um, it had no name. It was called the Entitled Boy Band Project. And if that doesn't scare you off, I don't know what. It is. Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you almost didn't go to the audition because of that name. Hundred percent. Yeah. It's pretty much. Four hands, three hands sometimes. Yeah. Well, the, the show then, uh, I think it was called Go Big Time, right? First it was Brand New Day. Brand New Day, day. yes. Yeah, I know, I know. We have a song called, anyways. And then, it was, really and then it was Go Big Time, right? Yeah. That then... sounds like a Pokemon thing or something. <laughs> so we were tasked, gotta catch them all. We were tasked with the, the challenge to come up with the name. And this is a true story. The four of us actually came up with Big Time Rush. After Go Big Time, so we ideated a little bit, wrote it on a sticky note, and left it in the showrunner's office. And the next day, he shows up like, guys, I did it. I came up with the name. And we're assuming it's going to be anything besides the name that we came up with. No, it was Big Time Rush, and he's a liar. He did not come up with it. Just know, you know the true story. We did it. We did it. That's the truth. Well, he came up with Go Big Time, so we decided to rush, but whatever. I think we moved words around a little bit. We're like, okay, that looks good. Okay, okay now let's let you got you collected. What's your question? Everybody quiet so we can hear this. 
One more time. A fangirl. Fan girl. Oh, fangirl. What an American. I heard it now. Fan. Fan girl. Um, beautiful. Uh, okay, so um, you guys know Incubus. Fan. Not as many people as I was hoping. Um, the lead singer of that band, he's, he's like, he's like a Palo Santo would personify. He's like, he's like very stage, very ethereal, you know what I'm saying? I also have no idea what that means. Brandon Boyd. Anyway, we were at this Paramount thing and he had a really big hat on, so I was already intimidated. And, uh, you know, because he had the whole, he, this looked like kind of a book. Yeah, it's funny. And so I went up and, of course, you know, you're like, Hey, but so remember, I so I was in. I love your band. What did you know? Yeah. And then you just could, you just like blabber on, and then he was like, "Thanks, man." You know, and that was it. And I walked away, heart racing, knee shaking. It's a good story. Yeah, thank Thanks. you. That's a I just don't think I can top that. That was embarrassing enough for all of us. <laughs> good. I have more. <laughs> <laughs> I've had the pleasure of meeting Elton John. That was. Excuse me, this is Kurt. Oh, Kurt Elton John, you're very right. Um, and uh, I was pretty nervous. Thank like you. A lot of word vomit. But he grabbed me by the cheeks and goes, Yes. And I was like, Okay, that's it. That okay. reminds me of, okay. a, of a big fail I had. All right, do you guys know Chevy Chase? Okay. We were walking with him one day. Yeah, so we filmed Big Time with Brush at Paramount. They were doing community. For sure. Was that a stream for community? I didn't know. We got a few so, things. It's good to know. So at Paramount, there's um, if you remember like in the Truman show when there's all the water and he like goes to the wall, that's actually a parking lot when it's not filled with water, right? So if you were super special, you got to park in the tank, right? And we were filming and he also parked in the tank, Jeff Chase. And we're walking I think maybe when I've been working for a few months and we start Walking together for the day, and I'm like, oh, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this. It's a rain. I was like, he has, we thought it would be a good idea. He has one thing in his hand, single item. It's like, hey, uh, we uh, we actually work right next to you, and I just wanted to say, hey, and shake, you know, shake your hand, and he put out his pinky. <laughs> oh, it gets it gets worse. And guess what, Kendall did? He shook it. That was the point in our relationship where I thought, maybe we can't be friends. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That was rough. And he, and he said, good luck with whatever you're doing, kid. <laughs> and here we are. And here we are. Here we are. Okay. <laughs>